draw close to Allah Azza wa Jal with whatever you're able to. Yani pray, fast, zakat, charity, uh, look after the poor, do good deeds. Draw nearer to Allah Azza wa Jal with whatever you're able to do. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. There are a lot of ways to come closer to Allah. When you help someone, when you do charity, when you do good deeds, you come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's listen. What's the best thing that make you come closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then he said, Wa'lam, but you better know that there is nothing that will bring you close to Allah azza wa jal more than his word subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing will bring you close to Allah azza wa jal than his word, Al-Quran, the word, the Quran. And this is why the first command to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was Iqra. Iqra. Before Allah Azza wa Jal said to him, Usjud uh, waqtarib. Before Allah Azza wa Jal commanded the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to pray and make sujood. And before he commanded him to give zakat and hajj and all the deeds that we know in Islam, before all of this, Allah said to him, Iqra. Bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Read. Because if you don't read the Quran, how are you going to know about the other matters that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves? If then nothing will bring you close to Allah and earn you Allah's love and develop love in your heart for Allah more than the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you read the Quran, read the Quran while you ponder and reflect and understand what you're reading and most importantly implement what you're reading. Your concern should not be to reach to the end of the page or the end of a surah, that's not your concern. Your concern should be, read a couple of ayat, ponder over them and understand them. Do tadabbur of the ayat. This is how you increase your love for Allah, by tadabbur over this Quran. What does tadabbur mean? Tadabbur, we always hear that tadabbur al-Quran, to ponder over the Quran, reflect over the Quran. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Al Hassan Al Basri, Rahimahullah, he said, "Wama tadabburu ayatihi illa bittabi illa bittibaghi." The highest degree of pondering over the Quran is to implement the Quran. This is it. This is what pondering the Quran means. It means to apply it in your life, to implement the Quran in your life. يعني when you read قوله تعالى الذين يقيمون الصلاة, that one of the uh, qualities of the believers is that they establish the prayer. And then when you get up and you hear the adhan and you make wudu and you pray salat al-dhuhr or salat al-asr, remembering the word of Allah that the believers establish as salat al-ladhina yuqimun as-salat, this is the highest degree of tadabbur al-Quran. You have now pondered over the Quran. The highest degree of pondering over the Quran is to implement it in your life. So my brothers and sisters, read Quran, understand the Quran, emphasize on it and live a life according to the Quran. You can become closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will get everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your life easy and beautiful.